In this episode, we are learning the harsh lessons that come along with truck camping in the middle of Alaska's winter. It just shuts off. It's negative 15 and I feel like I'm in trouble. I get it now. But don't worry, there's a huge bucket list moment in there too. I cannot believe that we just saw the Northern Lights. If you're new here, hi, I'm Maria. My dog Blue and I have been in Alaska the last couple of months as a part of the 50 state road trip that we're on. We're truck camping our way around the country in my 1997 imported Land Rover Defender named Toe. Let's start off this episode stocking up for camp. Good. It's okay, bub. Bubby. Bubby. Yeah. It is so cold today. <laughs> okay. One of my tips for anybody wanting to do this life or anybody just curious about hacks for on the road life, get your groceries for pickup. It is so nice to just roll up, have them bring out your order, and then you're not leaving your dog in the car when it's like negative four degrees or whatever it is right now. In the afternoon, negative four in the ap Anyways. I'm not gonna have fridge space. Cry out. Why did they have to give us the biggest lettuce bag in the world? Okay, now we're now we're cooking with gas. Do mushrooms like have to be refrigerated? What do we think? This is what I get for trying to shop for a week's worth of food at a time. Do we think it's gonna shut? Place your bets. All right. Nice, Bubby. Errand one, done. Why are you so cute? You're just born that way? That's crazy. All right, so now on to the returns of the day. I need to go to Walmart and return oil change stuff because I don't know if you guys have been following along with this saga, but absolutely no one will change my oil in Alaska. Just no one will even touch it. Even the import specialist will not touch this imported vehicle, so. I don't know why. But anyways, I went to Walmart and bought oil change stuff to do it myself because I can, but then I couldn't get the bolt off. <laughs> I have no upper body straight. Anyways, long story short, I think I did finally find somebody that will change my oil today. So I'm gonna go return the stuff I was gonna use to do it myself. And then I've gotta go to REI and return the buddy heater because tonight we are testing out the diesel heater. Okay, we're gonna make that work. We're gonna make that work? My brain isn't even on right now, Bobby. Okay, we are rocking. 
rocking and rolling. No. All right, Bubby, come on. Go potty quick, okay? Ay, ay, ay. Gosh. Ay, ay, ay. All right, you guys, it is a very exciting night because it is negative five right now and only going to get colder tonight. I am freezing. <laughs> And we're about to test out this diesel heater. I don't think I've ever been yelled at by you guys as much as I was about a diesel heater and not having one in Alaska. So I think it's gonna get down to like negative 15 or something. Blue, please. Hey, buddy, get a grip. And we're gonna give the diesel heater diesel, diesel, diesel. I say diesel, but I also say Aussie, not Aussie. Anyways, tonight is numero uno for this test run of the diesel heater. Now, before anybody gets scared, I'm not leaving the unit inside Poe. I think what I figured out is I'm gonna end up putting it on the hood of Poe so it's completely outside and then funneling this bigger dryer vent up into the alu cab, hoping that works, hoping my cords are long enough to reach the jackery, hoping this is long enough to reach the alu cab. It is so cold out, I just don't even wanna go set this thing up, but I have to, so here we go. Like, Poe is running with heat on full blast right now and I'm still freezing. It's like, that's how cold it is when the truck doesn't even do anything. Okay, come on. I kind of got the two exhausts attached, barely. It's like half on, half off. I'm just going to have to not pull on that part. Okay. Well, guys, the only thing we really have left to do is put diesel in it and set it up. Heck yeah, Bubby. Should I have done that outside? Probably. Am I being lazy because it's freaking cold out? Absolutely. <laughs> you guys can yell at me in the comments. It's fine. experience with diesel heaters. We don't know if I just got sent a dud or if there's something going on with like the wiring job that I did. It's probably me, let's be honest, but it's also a pretty good chance they sent me one without a working glow plug. It's so cold out that Poe is on high right now and I'm under the electric blanket on high and I'm still shivering and I've got a coat and snow pants on. 
I need to get the owl cap shut and like get out of here. But I'm so cold that I like literally can't even muster up the courage to go put the owl cap down. So that's where I'm at. This sucks. I can already hear the comments of everybody being like, I told you so. And I knew you were going to get into trouble. I got so many warnings when I posted that no heat video of people being like, you're so stupid, you're gonna get in trouble. It's negative 15 and I feel like I'm in trouble. I get it now. I need to go find somebody to professionally install a diesel heater. Like, this is no joke. <laughs> I'm lucky Poe is running. If Poe wasn't running right now, I would be toast. So I feel like I wanna cry and a little stressed out <laughs> and that may sound dramatic, but I don't know that I've ever been this like freaking cold in my life. And I'm sitting in a fully running vehicle and under an electric blanket. Man, this was a fail. <laughs> Bub seems to be holding up just fine, and that's what's important, but we need to get out of here. Shut up. I think the northern lights are out. <laughs> the northern lights are out. I literally haven't seen them yet. No freaking way. I'm gonna cry because this is so bucket list for me right now. What's crazy is like I can look through my camera and see this, but I can't see this with the naked eye. Like the lights are gone now. It's crazy. Go Sony though, hey? <laughs> you guys, I don't feel like crying and dying anymore. This is like a really great night. But wait, can you believe that even just happened? I feel like you don't care, but you should. Cool. Listen, the Northern Lights were bucket list for me and I've been in Alaska for three months now. In like a week I will have actually been here for four months, right? No, <laughs> wait, <laughs> the math ain't math. In one week I'll have been here for three months and I have yet to see the Northern Lights. So I cannot believe that we just saw the Northern Lights. <laughs> What? Some people go their whole lives and don't see them. It's crazy. I didn't expect two things. One, I didn't expect them to dance the way that they did. And I didn't expect them to be hard to see. It's probably just the night that I saw them on. But I actually had to like watch it through my camera to see them dancing. Because they kind of just looked like clouds when I was looking at the naked eye, which is a little weird. Some of them had like a little bit of a green tint, but it's crazy in the camera. Some of them had like red in them. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, what an emotional night. I was actually it, like on the verge of tears earlier because I was so cold and I still am cold. I was actually blowing cold air right now, which is weird. The Northern Lights kind of just like gave me a little pep in my step. I don't know. I'm getting toe warmers prepped so that I can go put the owl cap down. Either way, I want the owl cap down. Look how crowded we are. It is a mess in here. I don't know. I kind of feel like I need to go get an Airbnb for the night for me and Blue because I don't want anything to happen to us or like, God forbid, something happen to Poe and we don't have a heat source because I returned the buddy heater today and the diesel heater isn't working. So right now, the only devices I am left to is my electric blanket and hope. In Jesus so <laughs> negative 15 is no joke holy cow and we've slept in this type of weather before but never like without any sort of heat I kind of see why you guys were all freaking out and getting mad at me for being negligent roaming reckless am I right <laughs> Go party. Good oh boy. Hi guys. We left the campsite at about 5.30 a.m. It was just way too dangerous, way too cold. It was honestly really scaring me. And so we got out of there and I ended up getting an Airbnb. I think we got here at like six in the morning. So I had stayed up all night. Promptly came here and passed out. And I just woke up not too long ago, and it's now after 5 p.m. So, gotta love the Alaskan schedule. To be honest, I'm just really frustrated with this diesel heater. Um, 
I have watched like every YouTube video known to man. I can't figure out what the heck is going on. I'll show you in a minute. But it's just really interrupting our ability to camp right now because it's just so cold that we can't risk not having a heat source anymore. So I've got to get something figured out if this diesel heater isn't going to work for me. You know what I mean? I can't be so cold I'm crying anymore. I feel like I'm going to cry. So here's what's going on. Let me plug this in. I took the cover off because like I said, I've been trying to figure out what the heck is going on. There's no wires that are like grounded out. Nothing seems odd, but when I go to start it, keep in mind it's primed. Anytime I go to start it, this is what happens. It just shuts off. Listen, I'm no mechanic, but it seems to me like the pump isn't working at all. All the videos online, their pumps would kick in. Mine isn't even trying to after I try to turn it on. The screen turns on, so I feel like it's not an electrical problem. Listen, I don't know. It's not cute to go cold weather camping with no heat anymore. It's like, I'm gonna die if this heater doesn't work. So, I really regret returning my buddy heater at this point. I should have just kept it as a backup, but I wasn't thinking, so. Anyways. Another fun news, I'm like 98% sure Poe is not gonna start because it's been so frigid cold and he hasn't been running like, what, 12 hours almost? So anyways, I'm just gonna try to go get Poe started. Fun times in Arctic temperatures. Let's do this. Let's just give it a shot. See if I can get these jumpers on this funky angle. Alright, we're ready. Let's try it. Come on, Poe. Come on. Come on. Come on. Z3. Come on, Paul. There we go, buddy. Come on. Don't do this to me. How? Come on, Paul. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this truck. I love this truck and I love Gordon because he I forgot he rearranged my batteries so that I had easiest access to the one connected to Poe. So <laughs> shout out Gordon if you are watching this. I love you. I can't wait to come back to Seattle and have you work on Poe again because you were a genius. <laughs> you guys, I literally thought I wasn't going to be able to leave. Okay. Whatever. Negative 15 isn't even a thing for Poe. I wasn't even worried a little bit. Never even doubted it for a second. So. 